you had a take. I did. You had a take about <laughs> AI and Pal World and AI art in general, and it was, I assume, a much more refined take. But the it was two version, fucking hours. But the version <laughs> that yeah. made it to yeah. the interwebs was not so refined. Now, you and I might even have disagreements on the AI component, sure. but what you and I do not have disagreements on is that once that happened, and I saw it, and it is definitely a hot-button issue for obvious reasons. AI is displacing a lot of uh, uh, parts of the sector, but more specifically with art. Yep. Um, a lot of artists who are already, you know, struggling to make ends meet with their art are seeing that, like, AI is training on their work, and uh, and all of that is very frustrating. Very passionate people came after you. They're very passionate. But they didn't stop there. <laughs> they started looking at other stuff that you were saying. That's right. Specifically to clip that and be like, this guy sucks. <laughs> and like, keep <laughs> going. <laughs> yep. Keep going on the this guy sucks uh, bender. Yeah. Yeah. Happens to me weekly. Yeah. Um, I am known for hot takes. And I wanted to hear your perspective. I'm completely fine with it. It doesn't bother me at all. I mean, I'm on a public platform. I'm giving my public opinion. People can respond publicly. I think that's just how it is. Now, obviously, it would be nice if more of the uh, viral tweets were about my argument and not my room. But, you know, that's just what fucking happens. That's what happens. And, and so I, I thought about going and making a tweet explaining what I was saying or talking about it. But then I remembered that once people have made up their mind that you're wrong, well, then you're fucking wrong. And that's it. Like, why would, like, if you tell them that they're wrong about you being wrong, now they're wrong. Well, they're not going to like that. Dude, I saw, like, so, seven yeah. tweets where you're, like, trying to, like, talk to some of these commenters. Right. And then they would agree that you're right because you were. And then they say... But you were still mean well, about it. Well, I was a huge asshole about it. And, like, it's true, right? And it makes me think, mm -hmm. like, because, you know, I'm sure, Son, you think about this, too. It's like whenever you communicate, it's like is your method to create controversy or is it to spread a message? And mm -hmm. how do you spread a message with controversy? Is this becoming counterproductive, right? And I think about this. And so it's like was I being counterproductive? I don't know. In a way, yes. But in a way, a lot of people are talking about it. So it's hard to say. Well, I, I think what you were talking about in yeah. maybe a less than tactful way it sure is. is the inevitability of AI as opposed to yeah. the, the the kind of morality of AI. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. and, and that's, that's the problem, right? It's like people, it's like, I, I think it's important that you have to acknowledge like, this is what I think people are going to do, not what I think they should do mm. or, you know, what would be, what what things should be like. But like, for example, like we all saw like the Taylor Swift AI stuff and like all of that, that's completely fucked. It was like, wild. It was awful, right? And so yeah. I actually think that there should be laws against like trying to like impersonate somebody with AI. I mean, it's common sense. Well, there already are. It's impersonation. It yeah. just should be applied to that too. So I don't think it's necessarily like my perspective is really any different than a lot of other people's. It's just that whenever I try to communicate it, and especially like you're streaming eight hours a day, Oh, yeah. You, you, you can have one yeah. minute of being I, I an I think asshole. that it's just a lot of people, yeah. especially artists, heard your take and, like, it felt like like there wasn't empathy there for artists. So they're like, oh, he doesn't care about how this affects me or how this makes me uncomfortable. Sure. But, I mean, it, it was like a condensed take. So, like, the misunderstanding well, it was, it is where was it comes cut. from. It, there were a lot of cuts in the video. but well, again, What was your take? Well, yeah, basically what I'm saying is that, like, a consumer, I don't think really... It, it, are people going to actually care about AI in terms of a functional difference of consuming a product? And I don't, I haven't seen evidence for that. Well, I would say that you're yeah. right in that we also have a really good test market in that consumers, particularly in the United States, don't give a fuck about anything they consume, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The majority of the things they consume at this point are unethical. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. From from the meat they use, the, phones, to the clothes the they use. Yeah, they're, they're, they're they using a phone talk on. that was made in a sweatshop. Why would they care if something was yeah. made by a right. robot? No, it, it, everything is is created in profoundly unethical ways. Absolutely. Um, I think this is ironic because like AI literally is the exact same in that yeah. in that same exact vein where it's like further exploitative because then it's like eradicating well, I think the it's human component. Particularly a hot button issue because now we are the ones that are suffering. Right? It is the first time that that ethical dilemma has touched Americans or, you know, people <laughs> that we are close to. And ultimately, I hope that, I hope 
that it is kind of an awakening that it's like, wait a minute, we can vote with our dollars. We can vote with our eyes. I don't think we can. I Well, I mean, here's the thing. Did you see, this is like a fucking gaming bullshit drama thing. Sure. But the uh, Yakuza, one of the recent games for Yakuza, uh, paywalled the New Game Plus. Yeah. And I told everybody, I said, guys, we're making another video complaining about gaming and this isn't going to change anything. But if we all stopped buying it, it would never happen again. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's so disappointing that like people don't have that console that like solidarity this it's all, so disappointing it all went downhill with the horse armor that was it it that was, was fucking that was it. the first moment where we went from like expansions which yes. were standalone games right to actually maybe we can make extra money with like little maybe just a little, little bit maybe just yeah. a little which, bit which game was horse armor was that was oblivion that oblivion yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Shouts cool. out to Todd Hover for that. He just, yeah. he just. Why I mean, is that the significant? Armor was cool, like first time. The first, the first one. DLC. It was the oh, yeah. okay. first paid okay. DLC. It was a horse armor, and like everybody said, oh, it's just a horse armor. It doesn't matter. And I'm like, people are saying, oh, it's just new game plus. It doesn't matter. I'll, say, I'll see you in five years. Yeah. <laughs> you know. And and here we are. I mean, look, even people that criticize at the time, Damn, like that fire. 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 It is so sexy. It's sexy. Yeah. But see, we're doing it. We're dumb. There we're it dumb. is. <laughs> but that's the reason why you need so, like so regulation. How can, how can we train ourselves as consumers to be more discerning about the products we are consuming? I don't think you can. Plus, also, here's the second part. <laughs> no, no, you can't. Fuck, man. You can't. But also, Come here's on. the other thing I was yeah. gonna say. The only test is this, and this is the part of your argument that I actually do agree with. Yeah. If it's good, people That's will it. buy it. We just talked about uh, we just talked about Chick Fil A. Yeah. Chick Fil A is homophobic. They hate gays. Gay people love Chick Fil A, dog. Yep. We, gay people will consume it. We eat that shit daily. Okay. It's good. If it was bad, no one would purchase it. The thing with AI right now is that it's very bad, but it's getting really good at an alarming rate. So what, what, what do you mean it's very bad? Like ethically or like the, where the state is in tech, tech, uh, no, 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 no. Like, like quality you're um, talking quality, about, right? Quality yeah. is just okay. bad. Like yeah. you'll, okay. I've played some AI games on stream and um, it's, it's fun because it's so bad yeah. for the time being. Like if you do those like detective games or whatever, it's, it's not a game at all. It's just really, really bad. It's really buggy. It's really broken. The AI sucks. Um, there's like a very specific way that the AI talks as well. And it's like, you can kind of comprehend that. And I feel like that will actually start seeping into our collective consciousness, just like how, you know, TikTok has ruined an entire generation's way of speaking and other stuff too. But specifically the way people say unalived in the oh real God. world now, yeah. instead porn of saying, instead of porn. Yeah. yeah. So like that kind of stuff. Assault with two asterisks instead yeah. of S's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so that that will also seep into our collective conscious like the chat gpt way of speaking yeah. i think um but right now overall like mid journey fine there's like some visual quirks to it but it will get really good and i've always been an advocate that like ai just like every other tool is supposed to be something that alleviates the stress the tension from people who are normally using that it empowers them yeah it is supposed yeah. to be an empowering tool but of course it's not going to be an empowering tool because the bosses see that and go oh this fuck you all right no more i'm not paying you anymore why would i give you money for graphic design when this fucking machine can do it for free if i buy the software and that's what's that's what the major issue is which is why i'm an advocate for regulation but this is not a political podcast so i'm not going to be talking about that aspect of it that much 